I'm Michael Knowles with The Daily Wire. We are here for the Revolutionary Communist Party rally. We want to talk to people, figure out what the revolution looks like. The revolution will be televised. We were covering this for our YouTube channel, the whole rally today. Yes. So I was wondering if you guys could... Uh, no, I'm okay. Would you like to uh, discuss the revolution? Can anybody tell me what the revolution will look like? Uh, we're just interviewing people about the revolution, if anybody would like to uh, give a comment. So we're doing an interview for our... Would you like to answer any questions? What, what is the revolution going to look like? What is going to happen after the revolution? This is a very quiet revolution. The role of the police is not to serve and protect the people. It is to serve and protect the system that rules over the people. So you said your family, some of them are police officers. Yes. They said they want to abolish the police, knock down the police headquarters, and get rid of cops altogether. I don't believe in that. It should be some type of law and order. Well, today, we let the world know we are declaring a political war on their system. The revolution, I'm between Cuba, and Venezuela. We do not want revolution, especially in America is the last place to talk about revolution. These people have to get out. That flag is what people see come along with drones and bombs and troops sticks with that flag on their shoulder who come in to rape, to slaughter, to plunder, destroy and dominate people all over the world. That flag flies over a hundred countries where the U.S. has 800 military bases all around the world. These idiots wear their radicalism on their sleeve. But as I was listening to them talk, I realized I'd heard a lot of what they were saying before. You know, a lot of people want to say, oh yeah, some of the cops are corrupt. Something must have went wrong along the way. Well, let me tell you, sisters and brothers, this was wrong from day one. I think abolish ICE is, is a call to action on several levels. I don't think that agency can be reformed. I think it has to be abolished. We have a problem with this rising tide of supremacy, white supremacy in America. We, we just um, starve little children. We go bomb houses and buses of children. And we give tax breaks to believe us, but we don't use dirty work. And this country was founded on racism, has persisted through racism, and is racist today. The tools have changed, but black voters are still deliberately cut out of the process. This country's been racist as long as it's been a country. America was never great. We're not gonna make America great again. It was never that great. If they burn an American flag, and my people fought for it, they're full of shit. My family are police officers, my family are American, you know, uh, uh, from the Vietnam War to World War II. So you see they want a revolution over here. For what? America cannot have them. Why is that? They're in the wrong place. This is the only land of freedom. This system cannot be allowed to just contain the revolution to those that this system would just as soon kill off anyway. I came here for the revolution, and yet most of the opinions that these guys were talking about are held by mainstream politicians, candidates for president. So either the Revolutionary Communist Party isn't all that revolutionary, or else mainstream Democrats are way more radical than we had thought. The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border. 